shuttles to the Safe Space Warming Center are still showing up at First and Main Streets in downtown Chico, even though the city told the nonprofit three times to pull the plug. And that's where we find Action News Now reporter Camille Acevedo live. So, Camille, what does the city manager have to say about the efforts to appeal? He says that the city denied Safe Space's latest appeal. The city of Chico sent a letter to Safe Space saying the center does not comply with the zoning ordinance for that area. Safe Space appealed, claiming it did not have to comply because it falls under temporary use. City manager Mark Sorensen says that's not true because Safe Space does not meet the legal purpose of temporary use and exceeded the 90-day maximum. He also disputes Safe Space's claim that the intake center only operates from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. each evening, pointing out homeless are returned to the intake center in the morning. Many nearby by businesses said the people loiter in the area and their employees don't feel safe. We have one employee who's parking in two blocks farther away and walking because she won't park in the lot on uh, First Street because she's not feeling uh, safe, especially at night. We're very disappointed with his decision. We disagree with his, uh, his reasoning and his uh, justifications that he included in the letter. Uh, we're still looking at what we're going to do instead. Safe Space filed a planning director zoning verification clearance form saying it met emergency public health and safety needs, but the city denied it today. And Safe, Safe, Safe Space board president Rick Nared says that tonight they will continue to operate the intake center, but tomorrow they will meet to discuss if they have a location to change to or possibly shutting it down. Live in Chico, I'm Camille Acevedo for Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. All right, thanks for staying on top of this, Camille. We'll check back in. And we just got an email from Space, Safe Space that says it's disappointed by the city's denial of its appeal for temporary emergency use of the building, as you had just heard there, and that it puts the shelter at risk of closure, which could result in more people dying on the street. You can read that full letter. Just go to our website, actionnewsnow.com, and look for this story.